Hello, Hello Floss Tube. Tube. We're, We're the, the Kitchen, kitchen stitchers. stitchers. I'm Lisa. I'm Arlene. And I'm Crystal. <laughs> and today is November 14th. November 14th. Oh yeah, November. So there's November. That, that was new for me this year. So. You just did that one this year? Yeah. Very cute. Well, yeah, they're here grateful. So oh, it must have been the end of the year last year, but it was after Thanksgiving. That so. is cute. Ah. So we are a little delayed because this one was sick last week. I was. So we couldn't, we couldn't, we didn't want to do it without her. Mm -mm. I told them to, and they just, they we never said listened. No. We said no, we're no. not doing it. So but, lots to share, I guess. It's been a while since we've been together. Mm -hmm. You've been traveling a ton and then having mm -hmm. catastrophe Working. after catastrophe. Yeah. yeah. Her car is a magnet for everybody else's car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, I ended up having to replace brakes, and then I had a little fender bender with an older lady. <laughs> and then you had And it was almost. really just really, it, it was such a small thing. We were at a red light, and she went to take off, and I looked left to advance, and she stopped abruptly, and then so did I. <laughs> but we... If, you hit her? I hit her, oh. yeah. And so I came up and she was like, oh, my head, my head. And I'm like, I didn't know, I, I wasn't sore. I wasn't, I, you know, it was like one of those, oh. But, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just praying that they're, they're good people and nothing terrible comes. Well, then this week I was driving in home and all of a sudden I heard this terrible noise, like something really metal either ripped off the car or fell on the car mm. and I'm like what the heck because I was looking straight ahead and I didn't see anything coming at me got home and I texted Crystal it looks like it looked like something hit like the far right side by the grill and it was worse than the fender bender because I have just a little little scratch in my bumper from from the fender bender and this looked like it gouged the paint I'm and like, with you everything else me? that you and I shared when we went out to dinner for your birthday. I was, I mean, I'm looking at that text and I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. But all I could do was just laugh because this just does not happen and doesn't happen to you at all. So, but I don't, the good news is I, I didn't even want to look any closer when I like scratched it. I'm like, that is gap. Like it looked like that took off the first layer of yeah. the paint. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. Mm -hmm. And it looked like it was something that contained something and it spilled down the front of the car, like white, like it was cement or, mm. or I don't know, something. And so I had David look at it and he was able to buff it all out and it was fine. So it was just, Oof. it was the the way the white stuff, whatever it was, laid on the car. That Well, the good thing I'm is... thankful about that. Thankful about that. It was three incidents with your car. Yeah. Three and done. Yeah, yeah. Everything's yeah. in threes. Yeah. So is. you're yeah. done. No yeah. more car incidents. Yeah. The Irish in me believes that. There you go. <laughs> uh, so hey, I'm anyway. half Irish, half German. So there we go. Yeah. How about I'm, you? I'm you not, were sick. I'm not Irish. You were sick, but you had a good weekend. But her weekend was I did. I had probably a great. This weekend. Is your dog there? Should I open it? Yeah, you want to open it? Went out of town with my family. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Down yeah. to Red River Gorge in Kentucky. Yeah, good pictures. So, fun time was had by all. Yeah. So, we're going to start with um, stuff that we have are working on or finished, or what do you want to do first? Um, let's do whips first. Okay. So, you want to go? Uh, sure. I am doing a Sue Hillis, and I am obsessed with this uh, linen. It's Crystal Helix. 32 count. I was going to say, is that <laughs> the tree? That's the tree. After <laughs> timber. Yeah. And I'm going to bring oh, it up. Sparkly. It's, it's sparkly. It is. It's all sparkly. I don't know if you can see because the lighting. Tilt it that way. There oh, you there go. you go. And so it's the Sue Hillis Christmas tree. And I'm actually going to embellish it, make it a little bit bigger and do some other fun stuff with it. I've, I'm going to give it away as a, a present. This one is the one I'm not keeping with me. And, um, and so that, I already finished two other ornaments and passed them uh, on to Jan for her to finish so that um, she can get everything done in time and get back to people for Christmas. And then I've just been, um, just I stepped down from, I retired from being manager it was plenty enough time. I'm really longer, glad about that. I no longer have to work weekends. 
And so that took a lot process and everything. So I haven't really been stitching much um, lately. So as you can tell, this took maybe about an hour and a half. And that was with me talking and watching. I'm binge watching Madam Secretary on Netflix because I have to binge watch everything. I mean, I binged watched all of Blue Bloods. I love Blue Bloods. Oh, so good. Then I binged watched all of Blacklist. I love Blacklist. I know. I, I love, love James Spader. Now I'm binge watching Madam Secretary. Yeah. If you call binge watching, because I haven't been I able. I was very to excited about much. the start of Outlander, but it's been kind of political the way they've turned it. They've gotten it. Well, off hello. The, yeah, but they've they've <laughs> taken it off the books and the way the books are. Yeah. So I'm hoping it was just a little foray. And well, they took it off the stopped. books from the first episode. Yeah, they've kind and, of and it's been, been good. Different. It's been really good. But I just hope they don't continue to do that. And yeah. It's not a political stat statement instead. Yeah. So I've been stitching Christmas, so I was really excited about this Satsuma Street, and I've been playing with the fabric, so I'm going to kind of show a whip and finish at the same time on this one. So this is the one that I'm working on, so he's almost done. And, and so I do have the information about the fabric here, so this fabric was Lugana Silver White, but they didn't say who the maker of it was, but... So that, I, I, I thought I would really like the sparkly stuff, but then I did the light green with this one, and I, I think I kind of like that better than the sparkly. I do too. So, and I, I finished another one that was on the sparkly, but. Uh, I prefer the green. The, yeah, the, the I, I think I do too, so. I kind of like, when I you like the it sparkly. Though, it, it, might, it may be different. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, you know, I'm not a sewer, I'm a stitcher, and so I'm really glad that you, there, you pink these around the edge, and then you can oh, hand sew okay. them, so. Yeah, I'm happy about that. So I, I love I've got the, the instructions, and we'll see. Yeah, I figured you'd probably like this. Oh sparkly. yeah. So the green was um, Lugana, just Lugana green. I did both of these. Well, oh, this was okay. This was um, this is on 28 count, and this was on 32 count. Um, but I'll tell you, I hate stitching on this because it In unravels. Sparkle? No, it's because. It, hard to see with it's this. not even, and where the silver goes through, they kind of stick the threads together, and so it's hard to tell yeah. if it's one or two threads, and so it's it's been a real pain to get off because it looked like it was one thread. Why are you laughing? That's what uh, what most sparkles are like. That no, I've had sparkle like this what is, you have. This, this is, is different. Heavy, it's oh, really this heavy. is heavy. Yeah, and and you can see where this it, it is almost, almost. You can see how they. Well, that that's not a good place. But the the, the thread as, twists, but then the, it's like it twists up with the other one, and it's almost as thick as a tapestry type yeah, of material. It's really thick. So it, it that's that is been totally hard different. to stitch on. I mean, you can get. I find I have to be really, really careful about where I start the stitches so that I start in a place that has a complete, obvious set of four, mm -hmm. you know, two threads mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then move on. So I probably wouldn't do yeah. that again. Yeah. But anyway, it's been it's been good I'm stitching that. I think uh, I'll see how it is to finish. <laughs> you, you, your work in process. I do. I have so one Christmas thing I'm working on this one. My, what is this? So my, yeah, that's what it is. My Sophie. Sophie. So this is, I love because those. Christmas love, is coming. I know. So they're so and that's amazing. how far I am on this one. Mm -hmm. So this one will be my daughter Alex's, if I ever, if I ever get moving on this again, but it's, I love those. And I actually really like stitching on that fabric yeah, with them. This, it really, goes really fast. Yeah, yeah. Is that the call for? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Good. just the natural linen. When I ever start doing my stocking. Mm -hmm. So it's 18 count. Yeah. 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 So it's just the natural linen. It's real heavy, real coarse. Um, do you guys <laughs> have so any? It's not the, do you guys have any heavy. other um, whips, or am I the only one with whips? You're the last. That was my I only know. whip right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I also have been working on this guy. My Glendon Place. Um, what is this one called? Woolen Wonder. This is the one that's got all the beads and all the kinek that. I keep going back and forth between I love it, I hate it, I love it, I hate it. So I picked it up and started working on this one again the other day at one of the stitch ins at Keepsake. So yeah, it's 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 growing on me. I really I like that. Like, I kind of like this plaid, this plaid tree over here. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of tickling me a little bit. But oh, I really like it. We'll see when I start doing the beads because I learned when I was doing my mill hill that I'm. I, I didn't hate doing the beads, but did you get that little bead? Thing. I did. I hated it. <laughs> oh, you did. I hated the little tacky thing. It, oh. It, well, because when you finish it, when you when you do 
when you're done with your beads, it's a pain in the ass to get the beads off there to put them away. Oh, I don't put them all on there. Well, I, I didn't just, either. I oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she was so the other thing I'm working it. on is my, my cross-eyed Cricut um, playing with jacks. I have one of those. Because I Because Crystal gave this. it to me for my birthday. So this is the one I got in Tennessee when we were down in Dixie Downs. So this is where oh, I'm at. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I decided to change the white guy to a blue guy. Other than that, it's it's pretty much what it's called mm. for. So, and this is on is forty it, count. So is it the same linen? Or the no, no, it's, it's forty, 40 count. Because um, I like forty count. Mm. So anyway, that's those are my whips. I think that is so pretty. And that is one that um, Arlene and I are going to do too. Though Lisa's already done an amazing job and will be finished. Whatever Arlene will probably be finished, and it'll take me all of next year. So don't expect anything until. I don't know when. So, uh, speaking of, well, we can talk about that in a minute, but I have some finishes. Do you have finish? A finish? No. Okay. So, when they were on retreat, I, I, mean, was, yes, but I was stitching yeah. with them even though I couldn't be there. So, I was stitching Halloween at that time. So, I stitched this. I'm that's sure beautiful. I, have the, I thought I brought the chart over. So, that's a cross-eyed cricket. Yeah, there it is. There, cross-eyed cricket. And... Um, it's their circle. It was the, I like the circle, Halloween Eve circle. So um, that was that was kind of fun. And um, so I found a on um, on uh, what do you call it eBay. I found a Sudbury tray that's an eight inch tray in black that I'm gonna mount that in. So that'll that'll mm. be nice. That'll be beautiful. And then if, when I finished that, while they were still on the situa, I did the tiny modernist because I thought those were really cute and I haven't done those yet so I decided to do a tiny modernist and I finished this and this was a picture of this plus fabric that we picked up at um, Stitch Away a couple of years ago so they, she just had so all those pretty. random things out, out right. there and so I really like the, that? the green um, that's a 32 mm -hmm. 30 I think it's a 30 right, it's a wow. so, so that was I a like lot that. of fun it was a lot of fun was a lot <laughs> Crazy puppy. Crazy puppy. She I like that a lot. She wants to say hello to everybody. Hello. So do you um do you mm -hmm. have any finishes? Well, I do and I don't. I mean, I do, <laughs> but I don't have it here. Oh, yeah. But but I'm going to show this because I thought this was fun. Mm -hmm. Um, On the last video, I, I was I had our, our little Mill Hill socks because I love the socks. So cute. I finished this, but I had to get it to the framers because it's, it is a gift. And I don't know if anybody remembers me saying that... I was also going to knit these as a gift. Which, there's no pattern for knitting in there, right? You're just no. making up the pattern. Yeah, well, I, mm -hmm. I do, yeah, yeah. Because she's so, that talented. I have it started. I have my socks started to match. That is just that awesome? so cute. amazing. So cute. I <gasps> love it. So this will be, wow. they'll actually be slippers when they're done because somebody has giant feet and it's just really, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that, I just so love these are it. they're turning out really cute. I think, they and then I'll cute. go back and, and I know and I want to, I want to feel. Oh, oh so wow! Yeah. Is it acrylic or is it? It's a a, a blend, a, a wool acrylic blend. I so really it's... like it. It feels really good. Yeah. So now I just need to. I got the soft. I got the heel turned, and I'm just working my way up the leg. I'll probably just go up. I don't know, maybe six Cru inches crunch. or so, and, mm. and I think I'll do the cuff in blue. So that was duplicate stitch down here, right? This one I did duplicate stitch. This one I'm doing, I'm carrying it mm -hmm. through the inside mm -hmm. um, as you go. But this one I just duplicate stitched over. Okay. <laughs> what? Duplicate. I said duplicate stitch. That means again she, and again. She, that means I mean, she sewed it. I just embroidered. It's like cross stitch. She just oh, it over, she yeah. just went in and and how fun! And yeah, sewed so it. I, you know, I did my best to match the I pattern. I have no clue. It's it's kind so of we'll cross see. stitch for socks. We'll see how they go. That we'll is see. awesome. Now, are you going to make the other pair too? The um, matching pair. Well, if I have time, because I still have to make sweaters for my grandsons she and daughters. So I, if I have time, time, I'll make the the blue the blue and white pair for my feet. So you are doing sweaters for all of your grandkids and for your daughters and their husbands? No, just the grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> just the grand. I did think about doing the sweaters for for the whole family, but <sighs> screw You'd be them. Super just warm. the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, they were just the way for us to have grandkids. <laughs> That's right. They their their purpose is done. I have my grandkids. That's mm. right. <laughs> so I have some. 
finished finishes, FFOs. Mm -hmm. And so this was from something I'd finished this summer. So I bought this Sudbury tray on eBay for 20 bucks. So that was not too Great bad. Great deal. Yeah. And it came with everything. It was never opened. It was still shrink wrap. It's amazing. It had that count across stitch already in there. <laughs> so everything. I actually put that in there. And, and this is glass. So that worked out really well. I think it turned out really well. I was a little bumming because I couldn't find this in the color red. But I think I, because it's a gingerbread village. I, like I really like the brown. I, like I think the red would have taken too much away right. from the village. I think you're right. So I was really pleased with this. So that's the 10 inch tray. Mm -hmm. So that was good. And then I have the sewing box. I got finished. Oh. Can you reach that? I can. So I showed you the Sue Hillis sewing box. I've got a friend who's an amazing hey. sewer. And so I found this um, trinket box basically on Amazon that wasn't too expensive. So it just has uh, things for her to put, put notions and things in here. And, yeah. yeah. So it was, again, oh. it, was, it was probably about so need them, 30 oh. bucks or so. And so Alexa, off. And so I had them mount this on top of the box for my buddy. So That is super cute. That is cute. Yeah, and it's got, yeah, I don't know if you can see, it's got uh, little pins sticking out of the pin cushion here. Nice. So that, that is that's so very cute. Fun. And then I have so this. Cute. I've got to go turn off the oven. I'm making a chocolate pie. Okay, I can do that if you want. So and then I have this finish, which is the Three Kings that I finished at Stitch Away a few years ago. This year? Last, this year? No, last year. No, I think it was this year. I think it was this past year. I think it was. I think yeah. it was too. And so that came back finished. So I'm super excited about that one. That's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So she did a really nice job. I like the. You're gonna have to rearrange everything so that can go into a nice place. It's gonna go over the in, the in over here in the dining room. Wonderful. So that'll be it. The, everything I had there was a little too big or small mm -hmm. for that space, and I think yeah, this it was is just the, the train. Right, right size. Yeah. yeah. Arlene is baking a chocolate pie right now, and it smells <laughs> like heaven. It and it's not for us. Yay. It smelled, oh my God, Actually, she just, she one, just opened the oven door and I got this. Oh, the aroma. I was like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> that so would yeah, be we're, amazing. we're celebrating uh, Thanksgiving at work on Friday. And so they, they cater in a whole big uh, turkey. Oh, I'm sorry. A just whole big arm. turkey dinner kind of thing. And so I'm bringing my fun. I have to cheesecake to make tonight after I do that. So it's all good. So, Commercial for Coke. Oh, I wanted to say. Last weekend or the weekend before, I went to Philadelphia and I brought this on the plane with me and it went right through <laughs> TSA Yay. and I still have my scissors. So you were oh right. Oh my goodness. Me. They're like, because filled with, there's, look how oh sharp those gosh. are. You could gouge somebody's eye out. But they're still going to come after you. That's only going to. Yeah, I could do it. No, 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 no. You do it this way. Right, right, right in there. Right. You mess with me, I'll mess with you. <laughs> if I didn't buddy. have fat fingers, I could yeah. right in your eye. <laughs> and if anybody knows Arlene, that would never, oh, wow. ever. No, happen. if I were defending my life, you better believe I would do that in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even think about it, especially if I was defending any of my buddies. Um, I got uh, another round of color and cotton. So those Ooh, are the those, those are the colors. It might be my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. It's um it's hard to see this. It, this looks this is more of a blue than a gray, mm -hmm. and this is kind of a taupe. And maybe if I take it out of the bag, and then there's a kind of a wine color. But I love these muted that, colors. I was just gonna say that is probably the nicest set. Because I, th I the other colors were really bright though, wasn't the, they? No, no, no. The ones they've been sending, the ones I purchased were bright. Yeah, these the ones were, you purchased were bright. But I like okay. the muted colors she's been doing. Love My them. favorite were the purples. So mm -hmm. I love it. Wow. I love so, that yeah. blue. That, that looks, looks I, good. I like the, the trio. That is mm -hmm. really nice. So do you have you have haul, Crystal? Oh, I have haul. Of course you do. I, I We're all jealous of your haul. Yeah, well, um, my haul has come to a halt. Screeching halt. <laughs> because my husband uh, was just like, so when is enough? <laughs> so for right now, I, uh, really I told him there was enough. one thing that I was looking for, and I found it, and so now I'm done. My daughter, is uh, she and her husband are flying in from Dallas tonight, and um, they're probably... That's probably who they are calling. No. That's a random number. We could care less. If I don't recognize the number and <laughs> if they don't leave a... Uh -uh. So, anyway, I do have haul. 
That's so cute. Yes, Of course it is. you got that. Oh yes. my gosh. Okay, so the Zuka if I had pumpkin. Seen it, I would have bought it for you. <laughs> the Zuka pumpkin that I did um, this year and finished this year, I found another pumpkin by the same designer, Alessandra Adelaide. And so this one is just adorable. And um, let's see. Can you, is yeah, light you better? There you go. And so it's got all of the uh, colors and everything, and it still has a face, the which eyes. I don't do faces on bats. pumpkins. Oh, but it's but so it's subtle. subtle, subtle. It's, it's just so cute. Face. I'm going to fill it in. <gasps> no! Oh! It's so cute with that face because it's so subtle. I love that. I'll consider it. I don't know yet. Okay. I don't know. But anyway, I absolutely fell in love with that. I've never seen it before. And when it was on a stash unload, I got it. So cute. Isn't that so sweet? Cute. Really like and then the other stash unload I got. I, I, I mean, you guys are just going to have to take a seat. That and would not be easy to fill. No, it wouldn't be. And so these are the three. Uh, it's called From the East by um, three kings? the three the three kings oh, by the that. east by Aster Place. I, I really that. really I love that. Like that one too. I think I'm gonna do it on a dark, not a navy blue, but a darker blue, um, kind of like a uh, a a. You know, I bet just you Seraphim fabrics might have some the, metal. How about dark? that fabric that I did the um, planets on? Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, the cool. lighter one. I might have. I might have extra. Wow, that would be good. I'll, I'll, let me see what you need. Then I saw the Glendon Place um, Snowman. And he is just so cute. I love his, his colors are more of, of subtle colors. And so, of course, I kitted him up. So I will probably start that at Stitch Away this year. And uh, so I did that. Start it before Stitch Away so they don't go, oh, hmm. I don't care. <laughs> I'm in my own little world there anyway. Here is the crown jewel. The pièce de résistance. Yes, I've been looking for this. And I ha actually, I mean, I, I looked it up and I'm like, snowman, mirabilia, nothing would come up. So finally I had to call or text Steph and ask, Steph, your mom did the snowman Mil Mirabilia and what was the name of it? Because I can't find it. And so it's called, um, oh, it's called uh, okay. Snow, uh, oh, so Snow something. I'm going to show you. Everybody's probably snow knows days. it. Snow days. And so here he is. Oh, here he is. And uh, this and um, so instead of just messing around trying to get all of the threads and all the beads and all the crinic, I just bought it at one, two, three stitch and I've got all of it. Now this is not the fabric I'm gonna put it on because I think this fabric's a little bland. Um, but I love neutrals for other things and because he is in a neutral fabric, I'm gonna find something real nice and jazzy for him. I think even I lavender know. would be pretty. I'm not sure you're gonna to want to go too jazzy because there's a lot of detail. To it'll this. be it'll be subtle. I feel like a lavender would be pretty. But something light, but a different or even color light blue. than light, neutral. Light blue would be kind of fun yeah. too. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking of something and. Uh, would but, you do a sparkly like the other one that you? No, did? no, he's not gonna do a sparkly. Okay. Um, I, I yeah, he is the one that ugh, I've been looking for for a long time. And finally said, what was his name? So anyway, and I got all of his stuff. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then you guys saw my um, uh, Glen, Glendon Place sunflower that I'm going to do. And uh, so, and I'm waiting for the dinky dye. Uh, no, not the, the dinky silks. Dinky dye. Dinky dye silks. Because I'm going to put him on this mint green. And so, but the thing that I wanted to show you was, you guys know how I love Kay Kern's project bags. They're so incredibly affordable and she does an amazing job. And so I had asked her when she made my first 
bag, which was this one, I said, so is there any way that you can make an, a small notions bag? I mean, these are so cute. They're $23, people. They, I mean, they're just so well-made and cute. So I asked her, and she was like, well, I haven't been doing that. Um, maybe, you know, in the future I'll do that. Okay, I love you. I got this in the mail as a thank you from Kay, and she said, here's my first go round on this and tell me what you think. Guys, look at this. Oh, has room for your scissors up here, has room for your threads and your needles. Guys, I'm in love with this. You can put threads look in there. This little bee here, that's adorable. Oh, little yes. Bee. And so, here she is, made these, and look, they fold down and snap. Guys, these are just a gorgeous. So to say the least, I told her, I just ordered this one and got this one in the mail. So I'm gonna ask her to make this one and this one and this one. So, but I told her that, and uh, that I would have to wait until after Christmas because of the fact that I'm spending a lot of money on Christmas. But guys, these are $17. That's how affordable these things are. And I'm sure this probably this small notions bag probably took her more time to make than these. But just go to Stash Unloading and go to Kay Kern, K, uh, K is K-A-Y, Kern, K-I-R-N. And I just love her bags so much so I got you a birthday present with it and got you a bag. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I should have brought that out. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. <laughs> I forgot about that. But yeah. that is my stash. And it's going to be my stash for a while. So I have purchased a couple of things um, for Christmas. So my Christmas gifts to my people will be these little mouse, of course, the little mouse with a little stocking. I'm so excited about the stocking. The stocking looks really cute. So that's mouse with the elf stocking. And I couldn't resist. I picked this one up from, I think I'm in love with heart and hand and Christmas, or Cricut collection all of a sudden. Right? Have you noticed that you're, that's what you're doing? My obsession. Yeah. Sometimes we just get attracted to some things. But the heart and hand stuff is really cute, and so is this. Um, the fun thing about this is that thing in the middle, that little wreath, that, I don't know if you can see the, the wreath there, is right in through here. Oh, yeah. It's actually not one button, it's an assembly of buttons, so that's gonna oh, be no. interesting to put together. Yes, it's oh, that'll be button. fun. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And then I kind of got stuck on the little circle, circular thing. So one of the things that I've always, I have a ton of Halloween stuff that I've done. I have a ton of Christmas stuff. In her I mean, closet. I can't even put, I don't even frame this stuff anymore. I stitch it and then put it away because I, there's no place to put all this stuff. But I, I've never found a lot of Thanksgiving stuff that I really like to hang or really like. I don't like just regular pilgrims. So I found the, um, I found this from the Cricut collection and, and so that, I really that was like one that. that I picked up. Um, but I also have to say that I was on this site and I saw this woman had, it was a, a small site, oh, I wow. think. Oh, wow. I like the lighter one. And she had this, uh, she'd done this, I think it was a Cricut collection. It was a pilgrim and his wife. And it was just the cutest thing ever. It was so cute and I couldn't find it anywhere. Hmm. So I, I messaged her and said, hey, do you know where you got it or what the name of it is so I can search? And she goes, oh, I'm done with it. I'll just mail it to you. Aww. So her name is Melanie Ward, and I told her Aww. that we were going to be doing this tonight, and I just wanted to thank Melanie Ward. Melanie, you're so sweet. Another woman said, oh, yeah, I was too late. Aww. And I said, that's okay. I'll stitch it really quick, and I'll send it to you. So and she I mean, does mean that she will stitch it quick. That's the thing about this stitching community. I think people are just so generous. And, it is. And we really are. Big all hearts. Everybody. And so that, that's That is so thing. true. And my mice... I got from Beach Cottage Stitchers, and they included this cute little pen. Is that a ruler on it's, it? It's a ruler it and a level, and, and it's got um, a it's stylus. Oh, yeah, it's so oh, cute. How adorable. So cute. So I love that. I want to order so, from them. I thank you, them. Beach Cottage <laughs> Stitchers. That was very fun. Love uh, getting those little teeny, teeny like trink trinkets. And yeah. It's very fun. Very cool. So that's all I had. We just wanted to come in and share with you guys what we were doing and um, 
just to say to everyone, we probably won't see you before Thanksgiving, yes. that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. We hope that everybody gets to spend time with family and friends. Absolutely. And I know that we will. We will. Yep. And even sure. with those stresses that can come up with family at Thanksgiving, enjoy the time that you have with them. Because, you know, even those stresses make really good stories for the generations to come. <laughs> I don't anticipate any stress. Dresses ever. Well, you get mm -hmm. your first one. I know. I have oh. my first time having Thanksgiving in my house. I'm very mm -hmm. excited. That is really exciting. And I'm very fortunate. I have a pretty stress free family, so I don't mm -hmm. anticipate any yeah. drama. I don't see anything so oh, far. There will be always drama with my house. <laughs> but uh, I don't do Thanksgiving here. I do it at my mother's house still, but the day before Thanksgiving is here, and we were just with my family that comes in from Philadelphia. And um, already determined the menu, so there's no problems. They want my lasagna, so I'll be making lasagna for the day before Thanksgiving. I loved hearing your stories. <laughs> yeah. They're fun when she repeats it and tells us, yeah. but I'm sure yeah. they're not fun yeah. while you're no. going through it. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it'll be, it'll be a good one. Um, the, the cousin who just got married, uh, she's going to be down, but her husband is a policeman, and he has 24-hour Go policeman. He's got 24-hour duties because he's young on, on the, the force, and so he doesn't get to do Thanksgiving. Yeah. So I'd also like it to take this time to thank our military and families that are separated. Yeah. Um, our law enforcement and first responders who have to be out there on those holidays and they're there for when we do silly things like deep fry a turkey and set the house on fire. So nobody do that. So there's not excitement with the fire department, I but <laughs> I don't want to do that. But we do appreciate their hard work. So mm -hmm. anyway, okay. thank you very much guys. And, and happy Thanksgiving. Always Thanksgiving. something to be thankful for. Yes, always. And you're, right. you're part of our blessings. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Bye Floss too.